this one hurt man this one hurt and especially when something like this affects a lot of my friends this one is this genuinely does hurt um this is a video that i know you're going to see rant videos from ty you're going to see rant stream from splash i just want to click on twitch right now and um, to see is there anyone streaming right now isaac is streaming to 600 people right now i'm just isaac is streaming to 600 people right now here literally with just a notification of getting banned that's all it is i think this is the best one here Either way, it's just a notification of him getting banned. He is out of your shame with these 600 people. So, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. I'm going to say stuff that people probably don't want to hear. And it was a thing that was predicted by a content creator. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this guy's name wants to be out there. Um... Yeah, I. He actually said, "Can he get his acknowledgement?" I don't know if he meant publicly or privately, but um, he knows who he is. You guys might know who. Like, you guys can make a guess. There, are, there are about four content creators I talk to regularly. You guys can make a guess who one of them is. And he made this prediction that this was going to happen. So, basically, what happened? Every 250k qualifier got disqualified. As far as I'm aware, everyone got disqualified. So you see, you guys see here in the Mighty Extras, you guys see tournament. Yeah, see, Nike returns, gone. I'm just Edwards, gone. ISO deal, gone. I don't know if no cap Liu is there. Um, is ISO, actually, I don't even know if ISO deal is gone. ISO deal hasn't posted anything on Twitter. He's probably gone. Let's be real, he's gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. If Grossi, if Grossi, who, who was running with a bum squad, is gone, they're all gone. They're all gone. Like, Grossi is gone. The guy who was literally out here running with opal steph curry and like no other cards he's popped not only is he popped not only is he popped nba 2k raided him after it but basically what well, i'm guessing page is gone i don't know who asian boy is ty gone on both of his accounts so why did 2k do this because you guys can say, oh, it's about buying MT. It's about them wanting to show people not to. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. If this was about disqualifying people for buying MT, they would have disqualified Nike on the uh, on the 15th of October. They wouldn't have not... Uh, this is literally what the stage of Nike... Like, they have the data for this. The, all of this, by the way. Nike on the 15th of October qualified. On the 26th of November qualified on current gen. Newsflash, he had bought MT in his account before then. Newsflash, he had. They let it go to now. They let him through in the first qualifiers. And through in the second qualifiers. Third qualifiers happens. He's chilling. He's chilling. And then he's, he's banned. Got squad. 2K have it in their system. To check. So they actively chose to ignore people buying MT up until this point. Like they did. These guys almost all bought MT before the first qualifiers. 2K have their accounts. They vet their accounts. These guys bought MT before then, they let them away with it, and now they're retroactively not letting them away with it. And a lot of people are going to make the arguments like, oh, why aren't they... Like, if this was a, like, properly ran tournament, Nike would have been disqualified on October the 15th for buying MT. And then it would have sent a message out after qualifier one that nobody can buy MT. And a lot of people would have been running with, like, would have made new accounts to try qualify legit. Because Nike's one of the best players in the world, he would have done it anyway. Um, But the issue with the entire situation is, is that... It's not about a fair tournament. It's what's going to make the biggest impact on the community. And unfortunately, this is what's going to make the biggest impact on the community. Disqualifying your back-to-back -back champ. In past years, 90% of people have bought... Not 90%. Other than maybe honest, like one, nearly 100%. Four years in, all of a sudden, they do this. It's, it's the reason why people who were buying MT on day one didn't get banned. They did it all in one go to create the biggest shock. They wanted to create the biggest shock. They can. They want to scare people straight. It's something that 2K believe has been gotten out of hand. And 2K in previous years, when the money was good. So when a lot of people, a lot of people that are buying MT are also buying BC, by the way. So when the money's good, when there's a lot of people playing the game mode, um, you don't you don't want to just ban this percentage of your player base because it's gonna actually have a negative effect. But the issue what had happened with my team now, especially with the MT farming, 
um, is that there aren't a lot of people buying VC. VC sales are down, so you are going to actively have to find are finding ways of changing that. And the largest percentage of people that are buying MT are unfortunately in the I'm not going to say comp community are in the like community of people that constantly want to get the best squads. They want to constantly have the best squads. And I think, as I said, I think 2K are wiping accounts, by the way. I think they are on Thursday. I don't, I'm not quoting anyone. I'm not quoting a Twitter post being like, oh, and um, this is a, um, this is what you call it, um, a, What's called? This is like a news that I've heard. This sources say, like some people are on Twitter. Because I'm not, I don't have a source. I'm making this prediction because I said it when everyone got banned. They do not want anyone who has been banned and is not immediately going to be willing to buy VC playing this game. The game mode is already in a pretty bad spot. So 2K can afford to cut out a chunk of their player base now. Whereas in the past, when the game mode's doing really well, you don't want to cut out a chunk. When the game mode's bad and it gets a little bit, when it's already bad and it gets worse, it doesn't really matter because I heard someone literally say this. I'm talking to, I'm talking to everyone in the background and we're trying to make like sense of everything they're doing. And they are basically, um, someone said 2K are blowing it up for future assets. So what 2K are trying to do is they're seeing what the whole super sweat community is causing. They're seeing these like 50 Hall of Fame badge cards being hyped up. They're seeing everything that like the quote unquote, what they, I'm not going to, I'm going to call it the comp community maybe, but like you get it, the guys that really just care about winning all the time. That, that has turned the game into something that 2K maybe don't want it to be. And I think they're trying to rid that community of the game, from the game, which is unfortunate, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, says here, I think I like they allowed some legitimately qualified with a Zen, yeah, but like, and had people buy accounts multiple times, yeah, yeah, this has happened. And I do want to say this right now the agent, you know, the vibes account from um 250k last year, and like, for anyone saying, oh, I'm snitching right now, on my um, on my 250k live stream last year, I spent a half an hour joking about how agent you know the vibes is los poyos because he lost by 50 i had like a preview and it was a picture of los for agent you know the vibes we all knew whose account that was initially i'm not going to say whose account it is because i'm not going to snitch on that but every single person knew that that account was sold i'm not in the tournament and i knew it was sold it was reported to 2k two weeks before the tournament nothing was done Nothing was done. So in reality, do 2K want to run a good tournament? No, they don't. They want 250K to be a PR event. They want 250K to be a PR event. And what is better in terms of current PR for 2K than pissing off a group of people they don't want playing the game and scare, trying to scare future players straight? This is a incredible move from 2K for what their goal is. And I hate to say this. I hate saying this, but it's an incredible move from 2K. But on the flip side, I don't want to hear this argument. And I'm going to call out both of these guys. And like, these are guys I like, by the way. I like, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I think um, this opinion is BS. I think the opinions of both of these guys, I think on this specific situation, I think their opinion is BS. I've shouted out a lot of between the three's opinions because i agree with them i strongly strongly don't agree with this this by the way i do agree with this by the way i do this i fully agree with this response but this one right here from lethal i don't want to see a single person who's kicked out of term act like a victim so there are guys that have been kicked out of this tournaments like if you saw grussy's team grussy had a team that had steph curry so basically grussy just wanted his steph curry there are guys who have bought 20 million MT. And there are guys who have bought a couple of hundred thousand MT. They bought a couple of hundred K MT right before quals because they just needed to pick up that one base player. Grossi had a squad that had like stock Steph Curry and stock players. So yeah, there are people that genuinely, genuinely are like, okay, this is a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous kicking them out of the tournaments. It is. I understand. I actually would, I would have understood the argument if say if on october the 15th they put their foot down and say look we are not having this 
But people getting kicked out from October the 15th for now is crazy. He's absolutely crazy. And, like, I don't think it's an argument here. But I will... Um, basically here... Um, I, I want to just call out SP Sweets here. Because, again... And, by the way, by the way, if you're thinking I'm just calling him out, like... I have lit, I've been talking to SP in a DM as well. I get on really well with him. And we're never... No one's ever going to agree. But I think it's a terrible take. And I've told him... I've told him, not only publicly, privately, I think this is an incredibly, incredibly bad take. And I'll explain my reasons why. So... And number of people saying it's an awful take to reward people um, more for transparency and equal equality. The equality isn't it. That is not it. It doesn't apply to video games. Next hot takes people should be rewarded for using anabolic steroids in combat sports. And that's one of the arguments that I have heard. And I'm going to pick that argument apart right now with this comment. Because of the fact you can get the exact same outcome by opening 10 times more impacts, the argument is hard to make. Basically talking about equality. Basically saying that one brand of steroids is fine... But it costs 10 times as much to be effective. But a cheaper, more effective brand is cheating. So I will not... I will stand by the fact that Persing MT is not cheating because... Because it's a level playing field. Because if you want, you can have the exact same output by spending 10 times the amount on VC. The only difference is that these guys have some of the best cards without going broke. Like, you're still spending money on the game. Nobody's making 250k without spending money on the game, by the way, right now. In the current concept, nobody is. It's just, do they spend a little bit on the game or a lot on the game? And it's a choice of VC or MT. However, I do think 2k have actually been proactive. I think 2k have been really proactive in the fact that in their current system, this argument does apply. I think in their current system, this argument does apply. But that system wasn't the case for in October 15th. Assism wasn't a case on November 26th. To get a squad, because there's someone's gonna outspend someone's always gonna outspend you. Someone's always gonna outspend you, and that's just the unfortunate truth. And because of Hall of Fame badges being added onto players, there is an infinite amount of money. If there were no Hall of Fame badges and this was NBA 2K20, I think this argument also comes into account because it was definitely achievable without spending money to get a lot of the best players. But now you can be running like if you're running a budget player. Maybe your Thurl Bailey can compete against Giannis. Stock. But your Thurl Bailey's not competing against a 48 Hall of Fame by Giannis. So, I don't begrudge any 250k qualifier for doing it. But, let's just, let's just be as clear as day. Just be as clear as day. This is to send a message. Just like the bands where they were there to send a message. Don't F with us. Because we can take everything away. And I think that's the message that they're sending out. And I actually think it's been really effective. I hate saying it. Because, like, emotionally, I want to curse out 2K right now. But I know there's going to be eyes extreme, splashes stream. I know you're going to see the nicest person in the community basically has basically given up. And this is the nicest guy you will ever meet in your Russie. Like... It's just the unfortunate situation is that in 2K's eyes, even a, t a tiny bit of, like, for example, I expect he spent way more in VC than MT, and he just bought maybe one purchase of MT to go and get a Steph Curry. But that's still enough to beat him. I wonder who qualified. I wonder who qualified. Um, I reckon it's some guys that are finishing. I reckon... A lot of people are going to get into the tournament, by the way. That, um, that bought MT. A lot of people that bought MT will be um, in the tournament. A tweet from Matt Mojo here. This could be a complete end of an era. My team will never, I repeat, will never be the same about this. I agree. I agree. It is the end of an era, man. You're going to see so many of those 250k guys move. I think we see it's the end of Splash. I think it's the end of Splash on 2K as far as a competitive player goes. I think it could be the end of Ty doing what he's doing. I think competitive my team is over. But I also think that's what 2K are trying to do. And I don't know if it's a good decision or not. Like, I'm on the outside looking in. And I'm obviously going to be biased and say that it's a terrible decision. But I don't know. I really don't know. And for anyone saying, oh, they have the data to show this, show that, show this, show that. No. Everything 2K has done in the last week is taking a risk. It is all risking. 
there is no data there is no data they can use some data to maybe make a more calculated risk but what 2k are doing right now um and what 2k did with the bands and what 2k i think are going to do in the future i think we're going to be seeing a lot i think a lot of content creators are about to get popped um i really do i think a lot of us are going to get popped because there is there are words in the tos that we may or may not be breaking and i think a lot of us are going to get popped for it um i have actually reread the tos and from friday from from the second i got my ban on saturday i've read the word i've read the tos so much i'm not even going to be doing anything that could remotely break it because the second i step out of line i'm gone and am i pissed yeah am i pissed about what the way things are going yeah do i feel really sad for my friends that got screwed yeah i do i do and I can guarantee you, I not guarantee you, of the 48 people that have qualified for 250k, um, I would say 46 of them have bought MT. And for those who didn't buy MT, um, probably spent thousands and thousands of extra money on VC, which I, you might still be in the tournament, but if you're if you're looking for more, to me to talk about morality standpoint, I don't think it's any more or less moral, but. 2K showed they didn't care about the tournaments when they um, they hyped up Trey Young on it last time. 2K showed they didn't care about the tournament when it was reported in NBA 2K21 that an account had been sold and nothing happened. That account was not disqualified. It was reported. They knew weeks in advance. Nothing happened. 2K showed they didn't care when in NBA 2K21... The dream, it was looking to be a dream final of Ty versus Jomar on Xbox. But Jomar loses to an account called Umad Ha, which is Fly Guy Rise account, who was not very good at the game, um, and qualified with his N. And then when they realized, oh crap, we're not getting our dream matchup, disqualifying Fly Guy Rise only then. Obviously, it wasn't him, but also kicking out the two previous guys that he had beaten that those two and then saying oh he actually played the first two games it was just the final he didn't play when it was we, we know who was on the accounts they don't care about the tournament the tournament is a pr event i've said it before i've said it again um and as much as i hate this as much as i hate this as much as i freaking hate this everyone broke terms of service everyone broke terms of service i don't think it's fair i don't think it's fair what happens I don't think it's fair retroactively banning people, but everyone broke TOS. So at the end of the day, from their perspective, breaking TOS is cheating. I don't believe it's cheating. I don't believe, as I said, I'll use my steroid analogy. I don't believe that spending 10 times more on a less effective steroid instead of using a good one is, um, is morally better than saving your money. But in 2K's eyes, it is. Everyone broke terms of service, so I don't think as much as we want to argue, nothing's going to change. They wanted to send a message and they did. I hate that. I hate what happened, man. I hate this so much. I hate this so much for everyone. For everyone involved. For everyone involved in this tournament. Not only these guys from the qualifiers. Nike. Nike gave time out of his own day. 2K hit him up asking for interviews. He gave time out of his own day. 2K knew that he bought MT in October. They knew he bought MT in November. He gave time out of his own day to appear on the 2K live stream. To send a video into them. He gave his own time. You guys knew that he broke in terms of service. You let him through. And now you're trying to send a message. These guys give their own time. I'm angry. But nothing's going to happen. Unfortunately, nothing's going to happen. I hope that I got some decent points across before. I kind of lost a little bit at the end. I'm a little bit emotional. Because again, these guys are my friends. These guys are guys that I talked to. Some of these guys the guys I talked to on a near daily basis. I don't want to see this happen. I, I, You never want to see something like this happen to my friends, especially when there's a life-changing amount of money on the line. This is screwing people's lives at this stage. And do 2K care? No, they don't. I know there are people there are people in the company that don't want to see this happening. But as a whole, when they come to a collective, when they claim to collective agreement, do they collectively care? No. Because the main goal is to make more money and i think they believe that without this community in the game they will make more money long term it's a risk who knows if they're going to be right or wrong i'm 
I'm happy with what 2K did at the weekend. I really am on Friday. I'm happy with what 2K did today in terms of packs. I'm not happy with this. And I'm genuinely, genuinely sorry for anyone who this happened to, especially guys with a legitimate chance of winning. Because if you're Ty, if you're Nike, if you're Splash, especially if you're Nike who hasn't won before, I might would probably be the favorite to win this. Might be the favorite to win this year. You've gone the whole year thinking there's a good chance of you literally having life-saving amount of money. You've gotten through qualifier one. You've gotten through qualifier two. You've been on 2K TV. 2K are hyping you up. And now this, um, for all, for all of you guys, because this is a life-changing amount of money. And as much as people want to just say no one should feel sorry, this is a life-changing amount of money. If with 200 grand on the line, I think anyone would, especially when nobody has been kicked out for this for four years and people were getting away with it through three walls. I don't think anything, I don't think there's anyone that thought this was gonna happen. And I don't begrudge anyone for trying to even the playing field. I mean, there's that amount of money on the line. The last thing you want is another person having an advantage over you. And if you don't have the 15 grand to spend on packs and you can, but you do have the 1100, to build a comparable team and you want to invest in yourself to win 200k i don't think that's cheating and i genuinely genuinely feel sorry i'm sorry for anyone that it's happened to um yeah that's it that's it